Good afternoon and welcome now to Brenton Park. It's uh, absolutely gorgeous here this afternoon. It's Stramino was first meeting with Cheltenham Town. Obviously newly promoted. They're in the old yellow this afternoon. Uh, we'll just go through the two teams for you. Uh, well, new, newly signed, of course, on a week-to-week -week contract. Number 33 is Ian Fewer. Two is Graham Allen. Four is Mickey Mellon. Five, Kevin Gray, the captain. 16 Sharp, 7 Jason Price, 9 Simon Haworth, 10 Alan Navarro, 80 Danny Harrison, 25 Shane Nicholson, and 31 Pat McGibbon. Uh, we'll go through the Cheltenham Town team for you. In goal is number one is Steve Buck, 3 Jamie Victory, 6 Michael Duff, 8 Mark Yates, 10 Tony Naylor, 15 is Richard Walker. 16 Martin Devaney, 17 Anil Haworth, 19 Julian Olsop, 27 Lee William. Well, one or two supporters with them this afternoon. And like I said, there's the first meeting between the two clubs. Just looking at the programme there, actually. Uh, Apparently, this is the 100th meeting, 100, that's the centenary, actually. A Tramia have met different clubs since 1921. So that's interesting, isn't it? Well, the keeper was fouled, there's going to be a free kick to Tramia. No, Jason Kumas. Well, he said he's injured, I don't believe that, one minute. Apparently he's going to sign for West Bromwich Albion on Monday for 2.75 million. It's going to be Navarro, I would think, to take this one. I might be wrong. Was it? It's certainly, oh. yeah, that's a super save by the keeper. Great effort by the number 10, Alan Navarro. And keeper Steve Buck. He's going out for a corner with Tramia. And Gray. And Tramia pushing really forward at the moment. They are. It's going to be, it's going to be a throw in. Nicholson to take this one. <laughs> Allen. Oh, this Howarth. I think he's had the first touch of the ball. He's got. Oh, damn it! It was so unlucky. But that was a super header by Vexy. He's put it out for a corner. Great cross by Haworth, no one on the end of it. It's brilliant. No, I don't think so, my old mate. He's not going to get away with that one. Foul on the goalkeeper. No, it was a good header, but the keeper was down for it, and the Cheltenham had second shot and push it in there, and even push the goalkeeper's. Head in the goal as well. No, I don't think so. Yeah. He had it in his hands. No. No chance. He's having a laugh. Williams takes it in the corner. Howarth. Well played by Harrison and it's Howarth. Looking for support, there's no one with him at all. Mellon. Navarro. So Navarro is having a go. Oh, Price nearly got in there. There's a half-time whistle. It's finished nil-nil. 
and Tramia, to be fair, they're getting booed now. They haven't created anything whatsoever. They really have looked second class. And with Tramia nil, shot with the town. Allen with a header. Price. No substitutions by Tramia at the moment. They certainly have to line themselves up this half. Here's Howarth. This is a Harrison. Now he's back to Navarro. And we cleared by Duff. That's a poor clearance by Duff. Navarro again. It's another cross in. Aim towards Price. Surely one of them's going to hit it. That's not a, not a bad effort there. Yeah, it was Mellon. He tries to chip the goalkeeper. Well taken by Buck. Jason Price is coming off. That's going to be Stuart Barlow coming on. I thought it was only a matter of time before he'd done that one. Stuart Ball is coming up front with uh, Sam Howarth. It's Harrison. Howarth. He's got this thing about chipping a goalkeeper. I'm sure he thinks he's got no vinegar in his house. Why is he doing that? I don't know. Because he doesn't like chips. I don't know. It's this is what caused them a lot of problems last season with um, that many draws they had at home. These are the ones you've got to win. Hume is Barlow. He's going to have a go. That's a great effort. Oh, what a fantastic strike. That's how you do it. You put it in the back of the net. It's Tramia 1, Cheltenham Town 0. The keeping book had no chance whatsoever. What a great layoff by the youngster. The number 15, Ian Hume. That's the way you do it. And a great strike by Shuey. Well done, Shuey. Well, it's broken the deadlock. That's what we needed. It's only Nicholson to take the stone for Tramia. Flicked on him. There's Barlow. Graham Allen. Barlow again gives it back to Allen. Flicks it back in. Navarro should get this one. He does. Tries to find Nicholson. As long as Rovers don't get caught on the break. It's a great ball. Barlow again. Trying to come inside victory. Gets a cross in. Howard! Oh, there, mate. It was another chance for Tram here, but at least he created two in this half. <laughs> oh, referee looking on his watch now. That's, that's a long ball forward. Oh, dear me. That was a silly back pass, that, wasn't it? A long kick forward. And the offender was Michael Duff, who nearly put it through his own net. That was so stupid, it was unreal. In the end, he's lucky to get away with it because he's given the corner away. That certainly would have sealed the game. And three points with Tramia. As it stands at the moment, it's still Tramia 1, Cheltenham Town 0. It's like it's uh, going to... There's the full-time whistle. That's how it's finished. Well, they didn't get a chance to take the corner. The scorer, the substitution, Stuart Barlow coming on, and in five minutes of coming on, he's actually put the ball in the top right-hand corner. Great layoff by Ian Hume, another substitution. It's finished, Trammy 1, Southern Town 0. My name's Paul Rice, you've had full night when it comes in Bretton Park. That's another three points with Trammy, that's what they need to do, is win these games.